Join me on a journey to embrace your Cavella life. Hi friends, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Rachel. Welcome to your Vinyasa Flow. So if you're ready, let's begin in child's pose coming towards the back of your mat. And let's just find a comfortable child's pose. So knees together or knees wide, whatever's good for you. Arms along the side of the body or arms extended out. And just take a moment to just connect with your body, see how you're feeling. If you're feeling any tension, any resistance, tightness, stiffness, just slowly start to Connect to your breath. In the breath. your mind to the present moment. And start to let go of any distracting thoughts, any negative thoughts. Just be right here, right now. Start to build on that breath. Deepening and lengthening as you're drawing the breath into the lungs on the inhale. And start to fill and expand the lungs. And as you exhale, just let go of that stale used air. And if the arms are alongside your body, just slowly just float them forward, coming into extended child's pose, extending through the fingers. And spread the fingers wide. Maybe start to gently externally rotate the shoulders out. Lifting up onto the fingertips, let's walk the hands over to the right side of your mat, coming into a nice side body stretch. Let that left hip drop. Deep inhale. And exhale. And let's walk the hands back through center and take them over to the left side. Feel that right hip drop, deep inhale, and exhale. And come back through center, 
Maybe shift the hips to the right and left a little bit, just bringing a little movement into the lower back. Just moving from side to side. And then come to center. Inhale, let's float up to our tabletop. Hips over the shoulders over the wrists. And tuck those toes. Let's come into our cat cows. Let the belly gaze up. All around. Navel to spine, chin towards the chest. Inhale. And exhale around. Begin to connect that breath with the movement. With your own breath. That's your own piece here. Really start to open and expand the upper back and around. And then coming back to a neutral spine. Let's flip those palms, fingers facing towards the knees, the wrists towards the top of your mat, and then just gently shift forward and back. Just Bring a little stretch into the wrist and forearms. Just move back, forward, and back. And then let's flip those palms again, fingers from the outside. And just shift to side. Preparing for our chaturangas. And then let's come back. Bringing the palms back. Fingers facing the top of your mat. Maybe move slightly towards the middle of your mat. Coming into your tabletop position. Extend that right leg back, tuck the right toes, press the heel away, getting a nice stretch in the calf, and then maybe shifting forward and back here, staying connected to your breath. that heel back and a nice stretch. Inhale, let's float that right leg up about hip height, keeping the hips square to the ground. Point and flex the foot. Engaging the core, navel to spine. Find a nice strong foundation here. Stay nice and lifted, don't collapse in the torso. And then point those toes, holding here. Bring that right knee into the chest, round the spine, knee to nose, knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen, extend the leg. Exhale, round. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Extend, hold here, changing it up. Bring that right knee over to the right elbow. Extend, knee to elbow. Extend, opening up that hip. 
extend. Right knee, right elbow, extend, hold here. Square those hips, float that left arm out. Spinal balancing, get really long here, reach through the fingertips and the toes. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale here. Inhale, lengthen, hold. Bring that left palm down. Tuck the left toes, lift that left knee, hover here. Extend that right leg up, coming into your three-legged dog. Stretch that right leg up. Exhale, float that right foot down to meet the left, coming in for downward facing dog. Pedaling the heels, bend the knees, move the hips, walk your dog. Just slowly easing into your first downward facing dog. Breathe. And then let's come back to tabletop, bending those knees lower down. Get your foundation here. Extend that left leg back. So just repeating what we did on the other side. Tuck those left toes, press the heel away. Shift forward and back. Waking up that ankle, that calf, the foot. And then hold here, press that heel away. Inhale, left leg floats up. Point and flex the foot. Knee to chest, round that spine, extend, round, inhale as you open the body, exhale as you round, inhale, exhale, inhale, change it up, left knee, left elbow for four, extend. Two, three, and four. Extend, hold here, square those hips, float that right arm. Reach and extend, get really low. Waking up every muscle along the spine, strengthening those muscles. Exhale, elbow to knee for four. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Inhale. Reach and extend. Float that right palm down. Let's tuck those right toes. Lift the right knee. Hover here. Extend, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Point foot, and then flex, float it in to meet the right. Downward facing dog, paddle it out. And take whatever movements you need here. Shake out any tension in the head, the neck, the shoulders. And then find stillness, find your down dog, taking two deep breaths. 
exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. From here, let's float into our high plank. So again, get that alignment, support your body, stack the joints, shoulders over the wrists, navel to spine, create that beautiful straight line from the crown to the feet. I'm starting to build heat. Float back into your downward facing dog. And then back to high plank. Exhale. Inhale, high plank, holding here. Maybe float that right leg up. So just optional, float it down. Left leg floats. Hold here. Come back to your plank, knees, chest, chin, take it down. Coming all the way onto the belly. Inhale, peel that chest, baby cobra. Exhale. Inhale. Waking up that lower back. Opening the chest, opening the heart. Inhale. Press into the palms, tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Two breaths. And let that sternum drop, let the hips rise. And then come back to high plank. And start to flow here, so back to down dog. Use your breath. Back to plank. Start to create a wave-like motion with the body. Back to down dog. And then back to high plank. Float that right leg up. Exhale, float it down. Left leg floats. Exhale down. Knees, chest, chin, lower down. Inhale, peel the chest. Maybe come up a little higher this time. Exhale, down. Inhale, building into cobra. Inhale, last one. Maybe come all the way up, upward facing dog. Roll through the feet. Downward facing dog. Find that space. Feel those hamstrings lengthening. And then let's lift those heels. Walk the feet. Come towards the top of your mat. Inhale, bring the palms to the shins. Flat back. Lift your heart. Nice. Length through that spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, float the arms. And start to ground those feet. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. If you want to bend the knees, circle those arms. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to come into our forward fold. Take it down. Inhale, flat back. 
exhale fold step to plank if you're ready chaturanga or knees chest chin inhale upward facing dog or baby cobra exhale down dog two breaths walk the feet inhale flat back exhale full roll all the way up inhale start to build into a back bend here exhale hands to heart inhale circle up exhale forward fold inhale flat back exhale fold step to high plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale down dog two breaths and try to get those heels a little closer the hips higher uh, sternum closer to the ground draw those shoulder blades down the back lift the heels walk the feet inhale flat back exhale fold roll up inhale exhale hands to heart circle those arms exhale forward fold inhale flat back exhale fold step to your plank chaturanga inhale upward face exhale down dog we're going to add on here right leg floats up for three-legged dog square the shoulders and hips to the ground extend through that foot and then bend that right knee stack the hip flex that foot knee to chest step through for low lunge inhale circle the arms exhale sink the hips gaze up big arms frame that foot forward fold half split let that chest drop relax the shoulders Come back to the top of your mat. Low lunge twist, left palm grounds, right arm opens up, gazing up. Circle that arm back and then sweep it around. Tuck the left toes, step back, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. Exhale, down dog. Flow through high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Left leg floats right up, three-legged dog. Extend first. Bend that knee, stack that hip. Open it up. Knee to chest, step through, low lunge. Inhale, circle. Exhale, sink the hips, gaze up. Reach through the fingertips and shrug the shoulders. Big arms. Frame that foot forward fold. Square those hips. Back to center, right palm grounds, left arm floats up, low lunge twist. Stay nice and lifted here. Reaching up. Circle that arm back, float it around. Tuck the right toes. Left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Gaze forward, walk, step or float the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. 
Roll all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Circle those arms. Utkatasana, sitting down. So make sure the knees aren't past the toes. Lift the chest. Unshrug those shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Chair squats. Inhale, open that butt. Exhale. Building strength in the legs. The core. Sitting down a little lower each time. Stay connected to your breath. Three more. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Hold here. Prayer hands. Hands to heart. Take a twist. Over to the right. Center those palms, stay nice and lifted through the upper body. Start to feel this first spinal twist. Maybe butterfly in the arms. Gazing up to that right palm. Come back to center, holding here, and then open it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Circle up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, chair squats. Four more. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale. Hold here. Prayer hands. Take your twist. Over to the left. Center those palms, butterfly the arms, breathe, nice. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, circle up, chair pose, dive it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, step to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Adding on here. Right leg floats up. Bend the knee, stack the hoop. From here, working the side oblique, obliques, working that core. Taking the right knee to the right elbow. Extend back to three-legged dog. Cross it over to the left. Crossing that midline. Extend. Knee to chest. Extend. Repeat that over to the right. Extend. To the left. Knee to chest, hover here, and then step through, low lunge. Hold here, and then come into your high lunge, all the way up. Stack that right knee over the right ankle, square those hips. Soft left knee. 
reaching up, gazing up. So avoid compressing the lower back. Stay nice and long and lift. Cactus the arms, squaring the, squeeze the lats together. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Add the legs for four more here if you'd like. Working that balance. <coughs> Holding here. Open it up for warrior two. So find your warrior two. Stack that right knee over that right ankle. Keep the torso centered. Relax through the arms, maybe shake them out. Flip that right palm. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two. Sit down a little lower. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Trigonasana, straighten that right knee. Reach towards the top of your mat and then exhale, hinge up the hip, float that left arm. Breathing here. Think about stacking those shoulders, those hips. Open the chest to the sky. Inhale, straight leg peaceful, float it up. Wrap that left arm around, reach and extend. Gaze up. Exhale, warrior two. From here, let's take those palms down to the ground, pivot that right foot coming into your wide-legged stance. So toes come inward. Nice flat back. Let that head come down towards the ground. Lift the hips up towards the sky. And take the hands, the arms, wherever feels good. Maybe hands to the ankles or arms through the window of the legs. And just breathe here. Keep those knees soft. Taking those palms back to center. Let's turn the toes out. And then bend that left knee, shift your weight coming over towards the left side. So let's take it back through center and then over to the right. So just going from side to side here. And just Move from side to side at your own pace. If you need to hold, go ahead and hold. And stay connected to your breath. back to center holding here one more time let's take that body into a nice forward fold lift those hips 
Maybe go a little deeper. back to center. We're going to turn towards the back of the mat. So walk those hands so your left leg is in front, right leg extends behind you. Float that left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, float it down, down dog. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Left leg floats up to the sky. Bend that knee, stack that hip. Open up that hip. Left knee over to the left elbow. Extend, three-legged dog. Left knee over to the right. Extend. Knee to chest. Extend, three-legged dog. Repeat that over to the right. Extend. Cross it over to the left or right. Extend. Knee to chest, hold here. And then step through, low lunge, get your foundation. And then all the way up for high lunge. Square those hips. Find your center here. So that right foot, the heel is lifted. Square those hips to the top of your mat. Cactus the arms, bend the elbows, squeeze the lats, those big muscles in the upper back. Extend, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, now add the legs in for four more here. Extend, slow and control. Three. And four, last one, hold here. High lunge, open it up, warrior two. Find your warrior two. So really get into those legs here. Try to go a little deeper into that. Bend that left knee. Flip that left palm. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, so just flow here. Make it feel good on the body. Opening up that left side. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Hold here, warrior two. Trigonasana, straighten that left knee. Walk that right foot in if you need to. Reach and extend towards the top, top of your mat. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Press those hips forward, so. Really open up, coming into this twist. Try to relax through that left arm, that left palm. Inhale, float it up. Straight leg peaceful, right arm wraps around, reach and extend. 
exhale warrior two pivot that left foot come back to your wide-legged stretch this time take those arms behind the back interlace the fingers press the palms together lift your heart to the sky let the head drop back exhale forward fold lead with the chest engage that core shift the weight towards the toes soften the knees Find a deeper place to go here. Draw those arms to the sky. Exhale, inhale. Keeping the fingers interlaced, use your core, inhale, come all the way up. Release those fingers, inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, back to warrior two, back to face the front of your mat. How come everybody's facing away from me? Kathy, you're right. Yep, everybody face the top of your mat. Me. <laughs> Cartwheel those arms, take it back. High plank, move through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Let's walk the feet coming towards the top of our mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll the body up. Exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to come into a little balancing here. So you can take the hands or take the arms up. So find your chair pose. So however you want. From here, lift the heels up. So you can take the arms out in front if that helps with the balance or hands to the hips or keep the arms up to the sky. So just play here. You know, you're not gonna fall. Just if you feel wobbly, just start to lower the heels down. Keep your gaze up, unshrug those shoulders. Slow lift up. From here, float the arms forward. Lift those heels up. Keep your gaze ahead. Find your balance. And from here, we're going to make our way down to the mat. So, nice, flat, straight spine. Coming all the way down. Lift those higher. And then right boat pose. Nice back back. Lift your heart to the sky. Start twist so that right elbow is going to tap to the left. Just stay nice and lifted. Back. Mm -hmm. 
right, center, center, right, one more, and let's come to our backs, and let those legs lift, hug the knees in, we're going to keep going with the core here. So just give yourself a hug, coming into a little ball. Hug those knees in. Stretch out that back, the neck. And then let that back relax, come down to the ground. Take the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, elbows out to the sides. And then let's lift the shoulders, head up. Extend that left leg out, right knee. So make sure the lower back grounded and just alternate. So no movement in the upper body, just alternating here. Breathe. Stay connected to your breath. Strong core, strong back, strong shoulders. Everybody needs a nice, strong core. Breathe. Change it up. Elbows to knees. Extend. Coming in for a crunch here. Don't rush it. Stay with your breath. Nice and slow and controlled. Make that to knee, knee to elbow connection and hold. Change it up again. Extend that right leg out. Cross over, right elbow, right left knee. So just alternating here. Keep going, stay strong, you can do it. 10 more. Nine. Eight. Come on, you're having fun, you know it. <laughs> Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and last one. Great job. Extend the arms overhead, extend those legs out. Just stretch out the whole body. Breathe. Feel those shoulders flatten out. Feel the body connect to the earth. So from here, I'm gonna come into an inversion and just take this wherever you can go. So let's start to walk those feet in, bring the knees back into the chest. Give yourself a hug. And then release when you're ready, extend the legs up to the sky. So right here, you're in an inversion. Your feet are above your heart. Just breathe. If you want to go for shoulder stand, start to lift those hips, take the palms to the sacrum area, the lower back, the hip area for support. So you're coming up onto your forearm or your triceps rather. 
and stacking the toes over the ankles, knees over the hips. So just wherever you are, no stress in the neck or the shoulders. Just breathe here. If you want to go for plow, slowly start to lower the legs towards the floor over your head. Take it slow, no rush. We're going to spend some time here. If the toes touch the ground, maybe take the hands to the toes. Maybe the knees come towards the ears or take the arms out in front. Dual action here, legs behind you, arms in front. And whenever you're ready, come back to Shoulder stand, nice and slow. Maybe go for a couple of toe taps, just taking that right leg, tap the ground over your head. Come back to shoulder stand, left leg floats. Or maybe you don't tap the toe, tap the ground, just go wherever you can go here, just play. And come back to shoulder stand and we're gonna slowly start to float those hips down. So. Stay nice and supported here. Support your body. Float those legs back down to the ground. If you came into plow, let's take our counter stretch fish pose. So Take those palms underneath the hips, palms facing down, coming up onto the forearms, the elbows come in. Open the chest, lift your heart up, let the head drop back. Just reversing the spine. Maybe the forehead comes all the way down to the ground. Maybe the legs float up. And then let's release out of this. And just coming on to your back. Bend those knees, walk the feet in, and take those arms out to the sides. And we're just going to let those knees drop over to the right, gaze over to the left. And then just take them over to the left, gaze over to the right. And 
just from side to side. And come back to center. Bring those knees into the chest. And taking the palms behind the thighs here. We're just going to roll. We're going to come back up onto our feet. So just rolling forward and back. Roll through that spine. And whenever you're ready, maybe cross the ankles. Come onto the feet. Jump back, move through your chaturanga, meeting in downward facing dog. And two breaths. Left leg's gonna float up, three legged dog. Bend the knees, stack the hip. From here, option to flip your dog. Inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. Let that head drop back. Exhale, back three legged dog. Knee over to the right. Extend three legged dog. Cross it over to the left. Extend. Knee into the chest. Step through high lunge. Holding here. Cactus the arms. Inhale. Hold here, open it up, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Right into Trigonasana, straighten that right knee. Reach and extend, hinge. Inhale, peaceful, straight leg. Exhale, warrior two. Cartwheel those arms, take it down. Low lunge twist, open it up. Circle that arm back and forward. Walk those hands forward, inhale, let's float that left leg up, supported warrior three. Hold here, flex that foot, point the toe, take it back, low lunge. Sweep that right leg up, three-legged dog. Flow through, maybe three-legged vinyasa, keeping that right leg extended up, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg floats up to the sky. Bend that knee, stack that hip. Hold here or option to flip your dog. Inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog. Knee over to the left elbow. Exhale. Over to the right. Extend. High lunge. Circle those arms. Find your high lunge. Cactus the arms for one. Extend. Two. Open it up, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Trigonasana. Reach and extend. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, straight leg, peaceful. 
X, how are you two? Car with those arms. Low lunge, low lunge twist, open it up. Circle that arm back and around, back to center. Walk the hands forward, come into your supported warrior three. Float that right leg up, point. Flex that foot, point the toes. Step back, low lunge, sweep that left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog, stretch it out. Exhale, flow through three-legged chaturanga. Keep that left leg lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Walk those feet. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, arms out in front. We're going to make our way down, so lifting those heels up. Work your balance. Whenever you're ready, start to slowly bend those knees. Nice flat back. Make your way down. Lift those heels up higher. And then right into boot. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you do the whole core thing again. <laughs> and just roll onto your back. Just bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Extend those legs up to the sky. Let's come into our happy baby, bending the knees. Peace sign fingers wrap around the big toes. Flex the soles of the feet to the sky. Draw the knees down towards the ground. Feel those shoulder blades grounding. Maybe rock from side to side. Maybe extend through the knees. Start to relax the upper body. Relax the jaw, the face. Bend those knees, bring the soles of the feet together. Come right into Septa Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Float your arms overhead. 
create that diamond shape with the legs. Maybe cactus those arms. Feel really open here, centered, relaxed. Feeling the body ground into the earth. Bring that left palm onto the heart, right palm onto the belly. Feel the belly rise, the belly fall. Feeling your breath. That prana, that life force flowing within you. And feel free to just move right into Shavasana whenever you're ready, extending the legs, the arms.
slowly start to bring your awareness back. Maybe start to bring some movement into the toes, the fingers, the hands, the feet. And when you're ready, inhale the arms up overhead and the knees. And just gently roll onto your side. Taking some breaths here. Keeping the eyes closed. Make your way back to a comfortable seated position whenever you're ready. And sitting up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Closing out our practice with three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Out. And exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful practice with me. I hope to practice with you again real soon. Continue to be consistent and show up for yourself. Be kind, be gentle, mindful, respectful. And may there always be peace in your heart, peace in your words, and peace in your mind. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your journey today. If you would like to see new classes, please remember to subscribe, like, visit our website at cabellalife.com, become a member on our Patreon account. By becoming a member, it allows us to create new classes. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Cabella Life. Thank you so much. Namaste.